Hey there, I just want to start this by saying that Devlog19 was going to be covering uh, the changes to character creation and whatnot, and, and hair editor now, uh, but it is instead going to be about mastery. What does that mean? Well, let's get right into it. Form level progress, otherwise known as form milestones, interchangeable really. Uh, form level progress is a, sis is a new system which we believe will help the grind with forms quite a lot. So there's a problem where like sometimes it'll be like 1500 XP at like level 5 to 6 or whatever. Um, and that can feel pretty bad, you know, spending 150 Z souls of grinding, getting no change in your form, right? You're almost going to use a different form depending on where you're at, right? If the form's too weak, whatever, whatever. Um, so what we have done to fix that, let me give you an example. Example. Super Saiyan 1 at level 1 with no XP would be a 1.4 multi and 125 drained. But Super Saiyan 1 at 50% XP would be a 1.54 multi and a 153 drain. Why is that? Where do those numbers come from? Well, that is 50% of the multi increase with a number uh, multiplied on it. So 0 0.75 in this case. So the difference between Super Saiyan 1 uh, level 1 and Super Saiyan level 2 is 0.3 multi, 1.4 to 1.7. The drain also does the same math, just so you know. But that's 3, so it would be 1.5, and then you times it by 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.75, my apologies, and then you get 0.14 addition, right? So, I mean, really, the goal in this system was to... Um, just create a way that you guys will constantly be leveling your form all the time, pretty much. I mean, the level milestones, basically, you're going to get 25, you're going to get 75% of the XP from just your XP gain, and then 25% at the end. So you end up at whatever the multi was, 1.7, right? But all the way up to it, even if I had 95% XP, I will not have 1.7. I'll have slightly below that. Even if I have, so let's say it's 0.3, it'd be 0.3 times 0.75 the increase I'm sorry if that's a little mathy whatever i hope it made sense um so this will apply to every form just so you know um all your tier one two three forms your god form your primal form primal mode everything um not kaioken just because kaioken isn't affected i mean the form stacking for kaioken yes but the because it, it it's derivative from the forms multiplier but kaioken doesn't change its own multiplier beside the different stages so, on to something else next. XP requirements have been changed. Mostly lowered. It's a net negative, you'll see. I'm going to go through them. So, level 1 to 2. I'm just going to call it level 2. So, to get level 2, you need... You used to need 100. Now, it's 250. This was, like, the only one we raised. We raised it because it was just really low compared to everything else. It, it made it, like, you, you level real quick, and then it'd be hard to level. But, so that's the only increase. Uh, level 3 remains the same at 500. Level 4 goes from 1250 to 1000. And then level 5 goes from 2250 to 1750. And then level 6 goes from 3500 to 2500. So that ends up being 1600 less XP you need for your tier 1, 2, and 3 forms. Now we're going to move into some other things. There's been some big changes with Ascended God and Primal unlocks. So uh, Super Saiyan Blue and... Super Saiyan 4. I don't know why I had to think about that. Um, so, one of the big changes is Primal will go from being level 7 max to being level 10 max. What does that mean? The XP is just spread out. So, the same required... Well, I'll get to that later. But the, the required XP just went from 7 levels to 10 levels. It just got stretched, you know? So, if you were level 7, you'd be level 10. Cool. Um, anyway, both Agod and Primal are now level 6 unlocks. What does that mean? Well, it means they're purely a level unlock. Blue was always a level unlock at level 8. However, now it's level 6. And Primal, instead of being a quest unlock, it is now, just like Agod, a level unlock. And they're both level 6. And as for um, the XP for Primal, uh, that has been reduced by a thousand actually. So it was both spread out amongst the new three levels. So all seven, I already explained it anyway, and reduced by a thousand. Cool. Um, as for the quest unlocks for Whis and Primal training, that will be SQ 601 at the beginning of ROF. Let's go. Uh, that was, I 
don't know why we did that. I think it was just because it was level 8 of the form, blah, blah, blah. But now you can probably actually get blue if you uh, grind hard enough before fighting Golden Frieza. Um, and then GT208. Uh, so yeah, for Primal, of course. Next up, we have an interesting one. Reincarnation now transfers XP at a given rate. What does that mean? Well, first, I want to preface this with how it was. Before, reincarnation tokens would simply keep your XP. So if I was going from a Saiyan to an Arcosian, I would still have my XP on the Saiyan. I could go unlock all the forms for Arcosian because I had already done all the quests. Also, an exception is God. God has always been a universal XP. So there's that. But basically, I would just have to go regrind all of my Arcosian forms. So how did we how did we address this? Well, there will be a specific amount kept on the race you're transferring from and a specific amount transferred to the new race. Uh, how that's going to work is depending on the form level, I'll put all the numbers on screen, but I'll, I'll, I'll read the first example. Level one will be 5% and 95%. The 5% is what is kept on the race you were transferring from. If I was transferring from Saiyan and I had Super Saiyan level one, by the way, that's what the levels correlate to. Um, so if I had Super Saiyan level one, 5% of the XP, total XP, like total gained XP. So you might down level the form if you were like level six with no XP in it, right? You might down level the form to level five, but then you just have to go put in a couple hundred XP. Obviously the percent is different, so you probably will. But anyway, I'd lose 5% of my total Super Saiyan XP. That 5% would stay on Super Saiyan. So it's not lost. You're not losing the XP. It's just staying on your brace you're transferring from. And 95% is transferring to the new race, okay? And then you can see the other examples, left and right columns are all the same. Um, kept and transferred, all right? Um, the higher level you go with a given form, it will keep more on the race and give less to the new race. That's just due to, like, maybe you've trained with the form so much that the XP isn't really that easy to transfer. I don't know, it's just some bullcrap lore, right? It doesn't really mean anything. So, yeah, God was always universal, so it won't transfer transfer um if you're reincarnated into the same race you'll just end up with the same xp so if you're just recreating your character for the new character creation this update you'll just still have the, the exact same xp nothing will be lost right it'll be kept and transferred to your same race anyway um one important thing to mention there will be the option in character uh reincarnate command now you'll confirm if you want to reincarnate and then you'll confirm or cancel um those need to be changed command wise but you'll um you'll get to choose if you want this to happen so you could ha do it how it is right now or you can do this new system it's up to you uh you'll be asked whenever you run the command so it's not forced or anything if you don't like it um well first off let us know we, we'd like to um improve it if you guys have any issues with it really um but yeah that's i feel like that was just worth mentioning so one new change is also being able to, well, one, trade uh, races ESOLs within the same race at a better rate, okay? So what will happen is old rate with shards was Super Saiyan 2. You'd have three of them. you turn it into one Super Saiyan 1 soul. Now with race, like, mind you, this is specifically trading a Super Saiyan 2 soul to a Super Saiyan 1 soul, okay? So it's before you needed three Super Saiyan 2s for one Super Saiyan. Now you just need one Super Saiyan 2 for one Super Saiyan. So you can trade down at a one-to-one -one rate. Um, as for tiering up, the same things. Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2. Before you need six Super Saiyan 1s to, for one. So six for one Super Saiyan 2, right? Six Super Saiyan 1, one Super Saiyan 2. New rate with these traders is Super Saiyan 1, you need two. Super Saiyan 2 gives you one. Two to one. Trade up, okay? Cool. Um, the NPCs are right by Master Roshi, I think behind him, Android 17 and 18 respectively. So, uh, I'll put a screenshot of what those trades look like on screen for you. And the final thing I want to mention in this uh, devlog is the changes to alt forms. Uh, so, what's that looking like? Well, not much change for Saiyans. However, the other races got some changes. For Human, Namekian, and Majin, they all now have a Tier 1 alt form. It's worth mentioning, though, that Majin's alt, Majin, Majin already had two alt forms on Tier 2 and 3. So, we moved Tier 2 to Tier 1. Um, the balance for Tier 2 was adjusted to compensate for this change. But now Human and Mechian actually have two alt forms, giving every race two alt forms. Finally, right? Another thing, Arcosians now have a tier two third form. They have an alt form on their tier two form, which is called third form. 
for coaching and naming conventions are amazing. But yeah, so every race has two. I don't forgot to mention that. So yeah, pretty much everyone except Saiyan got small form changes because Saiyans were fine. Um, yeah, that's about it for the devlog, really. Um, thank you for watching. A shorter one. I uh, hope to get you guys the devlog 20 nowadays for character creation. Um, sorry, there's just been a lot going on in development. Um, been going through sprees of not being motivated, being motivated, trying to stay motivated to the best of my ability uh, to get you guys this this uh, this update as soon as possible. Um, no estimates as always. I don't want to give any release estimates. It's going well though. Uh, we're making good progress. If you guys have been keeping up with the uh, not the devil, the update little news thing where I post these development roadmaps, you guys have seen uh, the stuff we've been working on. There's also tons of stuff that we don't talk about like all of this mastery stuff was never mentioned until right now so i hope this was a cool little info drop i'm gonna be giving you guys some more teasers soon i'm gonna be keeping you guys fed with information i know there's been a lack of it i just i like working on things and just kind of cooking with the team you know i like uh, i don't i don't like talking too much about all the changes um but yeah i hope you guys are excited for the update um, movie pack 3 1.2.7 update it's gonna be cool there's a lot of cool things we haven't shown you guys uh, there'll be some cool things we will show you guys before the update comes out. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, don't have any big news about the update here besides.